So, <clears throat> this is how to kind of revive your pool for a few more uses. Um, I am vaping on the Mag Kit by Smock. It takes a Prince Coil. Um, I do not recommend this for constantly reviving coils, but it definitely works if maybe you don't have access to a coil or you need to get straight to vaping again, especially if you're addicted to nicotine. This is a better alternative to cigarettes or cigars or dipping. So, um, I'm going to show you how to revive your coil with tap water for a few more uses. Um, do not do this constantly because it is hard on your mod, but this is like last resort to not buying a new pool. Say so you don't have money or you don't have the time to wait. So um, I'm going to show you how to do it. So my mod takes a print coil. Usually I use an M4. Um, you see that it is a large coil so it does take quite a bit of time to wash it out. About five to six minutes. Um, you can use the juice as mine has quite a bit left in the tank, but in my case my juice is burnt due to me having an extremely burnt coil. I don't have the money to go get a new coil this time because I don't get paid until Friday, so I'm going to take this out and use tap water to revive it for a few more days. So I took my tank off, I'm going to go ahead, and as you can tell, my juice is pretty burnt. It was a very clear, very clearly clear nail polish when I bought the juice, and now it's like yellow. So, I'm going to go ahead and wash my tank out, that way it's not keeping the burnt juice in. It's always better to clean your tank out after every coil replacement, or in this case, reviving the coil. As you see, my coil is pretty disgusting. It's pretty black, because I've been vaping on it for about a week and a half, and I am a hot boxer when it comes to vaping. So, I'm going to get the coil out, clean this out, and then show you guys how to clean the coil with the tap water. So I got my coil out, as you see it is very disgusting. Um, I run this at about 60 watts, but because my coil has been burnt, I've been running it at about 30 watts. Um, that's also another way to minimize the taste of a burnt coil, is to turn your wattage down and vape at a very low wattage. It doesn't taste the same as a brand new coil, but it definitely helps with the taste until you can get a new one. But in this case, the running at the lower watt is not working as well as it normally does. So I have to clean out my coil or buy a replacement. Due to me not having the money, I'm going to clean it out with some tap water. So the first thing you want to do is you have air holes at the bottom of the, the coil. You're going to want to have to hold those, turn on your water, and run it through. This usually soaks the cotton and cleans it out just a bit. As you can see, it's already water. But we're going to get each thing on there. Right now I'm covering every one of my holes, and after this, as you see, it's pretty white, and it's pretty clean. And again, this isn't something that you guys need to be doing every single time that your coal gets burnt. This is kind of a last resort to doing that, so now you have to go dry it out. Most of the time I will let this coil sit and let it dry out by itself after I blow out the water. But because I don't have another coil to replace it with, I'm going to go ahead and clean it out myself, get all the water out, and reuse it immediately. So what I have now is my freshly washed coil that is wet. I got a paper towel, and what I'm going to do is cover the air holes at the bottom of the um, coil and blow out the water from this side. So you pretty much take the paper towel like this so you don't get water all over yourself, and grip the bottom of the coil. And then simply... It's kind of like backwards um, priming your coal. As you know, um, you can pretty much, when you get a new coal, in order to make the juice run through the cotton a little bit faster, is to dry hit it. Um, but in this case, you're definitely going to have to do that. By blowing into the inside, it will come out of the side. So I'm going to keep doing that and I'll get back with you after I get all the water out and then I'll put my tank back together. So what I'm doing now is I am going to properly clean out the tank itself like this from where e-juice has gotten down into it. My tank and my drip tip so that I don't get jizzed on which is what I call it when juice comes back out of the mod while you're vaping. 
and I'm going to clean out this part that your mouthpiece connects to. So I usually do that with paper towel or Q-tips. Those seem to work the best. Q-tips usually work best for my drip tip when I'm trying to get into the tiny um, opening in it. But from where I switched from the Pro Color to the Mag Kit, the Mag Kit does have a bigger drip tip. So I'm going to do this and then we're going to put the coil in. I've let my coil sit about six to seven minutes for it to completely dry out. So we're going to put it together. So at this point, the coil is pretty much dried out. So we're going to re-put it into the tank. So pretty much just twist it in until it's tight, but not so tight that you can't get the coal out. Um, go ahead and take your e-juice. In this case, I'm using Next Big Thing, the blue berry hard candy in 6 milligram. It's really good, honestly. Probably one of the best juices that I've ever had. Um, my favorite juice that I've had is probably the... Um, Actually, I think I still have this right here. It's called Lunar Harvest at 6% nicotine. It's a raw candy and blue cotton candy mix e-juice. This is probably my favorite e-juice, but I'm running low on it, so I'm going to use this. By doing this, I'm not saying that you're going to get your full flavor back, but it's definitely something that is a quick fix. That way you're not getting a very disgusting burnt taste. So you're going to prime your foil and you're going to do it on each side of where the cotton is shown. And I usually prime mine very well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't have a dual foil. I have a single coil. Coil. I believe this is the M4. Yes, it is. And then you prime up here. You put your tank back on. And then this part. And this needs to directly screw into the coil. That way you have what you need when you hit off of it. Make sure that the coil is completely dry when you put it back into your mod, or you're not going to get very good taste out of it. So go ahead and dry this off because I have some leftover juice from where I cleaned. And then fill your tank to the top. Wipe off the excess juice that got out. <clears throat> Close the tank. Put your drip tip back in. Um, I use a very large tank, but... So now that I have broke the tank a few times. I use this little bit of rubber band just to protect my tank. So now what you're going to do is dry hit your coil that way the juice pulls into the coil a little bit faster. Um, what I usually do is I dry hit it with the air tank closed, well the airways closed, just like this, without hitting the button. and sucking in. Do that a few times, so I'm going to turn my wattage back up to normal. I'm going to hit it a little bit lower than I normally would, so I'm going to hit it about 50 watts instead of the 60 that I normally hit it at. So, I'm going to open the airway back up and hit. 